Gunman kills five co-workers and himself in Milwaukee. Ordinance limiting smoking and vaping passes in, Mil in Plymouth. An Ostoff resort named one of the most beautiful in the world. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, February 27th, 2020. A gunman opened fire at the Molson Coors Beverage Company Brewing Complex in Milwaukee on Wednesday, killing five co-workers before he was found dead from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound, the city's police chief said. No one else was injured in the violence at the sprawling campus of more than 20 buildings, where some 1,400 workers and employed by the beer company in Wisconsin's largest city, Milwaukee Police Chief Alfonso Morales said. The entire Molson course property was placed under a security lockdown for several hours following the gunfire as police swept each building to rule out any further threats or victims. We can now say that the scene is secure and all employees who were on the scene have been allowed to go home, Morales told reporters at a late night news conference several hours after the afternoon shooting. Morales said the bloodshed was confined to the Molson Coors complex west of downtown, a facility known to locals as an old Miller brewery, and that no members of the general public were involved. Miller Beer is one of the company's leading brands and Mayor Tom Barrett said the plant has been part of the city for 165 years. Morales said the body of the dead gunman who was believed to have acted alone was found in the same building as his five victims. The suspect was described by police as a 51 year old Milwaukee resident and employee of Molson Coors. Details about the circumstances of the shooting included that what may have participated the carnage, but were not provided by authorities. We are a family here at Molson Coors in Milwaukee, and this is an unthinkable tragedy for us, company president and chief executive officer Gavin Hattersley told reporters. President Donald Trump acknowledging the shooting hours earlier as he opened a White House news conference about the coronavirus outbreak, referred to the gunman as a wicked murderer and called the gun violence a terrible thing. Our hearts go out to the people in Wisconsin and to the families, he said. At a news conference earlier in the evening, the mayor branded the shooting an unspeakable tragedy. There were five individuals who went to work today, just like everyone else goes to work. They thought they were going to go to work and return to their families. They didn't, and tragically, they never will. In an immediate aftermath of the bloodshed, the company advised employees in an email that the gunman had been located in or near a second floor stairwell near a packaging facility, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel reported. Hours later at Spitfires on State, a tavern a few blocks from the shooting scene, patrons made solemn toast to Miller, an iconic Milwaukee brand. A small group of employees still wearing their protective gear from their shift earlier in the day at the brewery huddled together inside the bar. Prayers and condolences, one female employee said as she left the bar after hugging two co-workers. The Milwaukee shooting seemed likely to originate a contentious debate about gun control in the midst of the U.S. presidential election. The campaign of Democratic candidate Michael Bloomberg, the former New York City mayor, was set to host a roundtable discussion about gun violence at a, an event in Los Angeles on Thursday. A campaign spokesman woman said the event, which Bloomberg was not planning to attend, was previously scheduled but added. Recent events will likely be discussed. Last year saw 417 mass shootings in the United States, according to the Gun Violence Archive. 
and the highest annual number since the nonprofit research group started keeping a tally in 2013. GVA defines a mass shooting as any in which at least four people, excluding the perpetrator, are shot. The Plymouth Common Council passes a smoking ordinance on a unanimous vote on Tuesday night, but chances are you won't notice much difference. Plymouth City Administrator Brian Jurgis explained that smoking had been prohibited indoors even before the statewide ban went into effect in 2009. That prompted the first of several adjustments to the policy in the city. In 2013, the ordinance was amended to prohibit smoking within 12 feet of a city-owned building, mostly due to activity at an in outside book drop at the Plymouth Public Library. The latest modification dealt with vaping. You're just said that there were some differing opinions in the community as to whether vaping and smoking were the same thing. So the ordinance was written to make it clear that they are treated the same in the policy. Plymouth modeled the latest language that passed by the city of Little Shoot. The biggest impact will be on vaping. Five persons already with the Sheboygan Police Department have applied to serve as interim chief of police while the search continues for a permanent replacement. Current Chief Christopher Domigalski will step down early next month to take a position with the Milwaukee Police Department. Last Friday, the Board of Police and Fire Commissioners discussed the applications and resumes of the candidates for interim chief in closed session. New, no news announcements came out of that session and the commission will meet Thursday to further discuss those candidates. Then on Friday, interviews are expected to take place in closed session with possible action related to a single applicant noted for the open session before adjournment. State health officials are waiting for a return on tests to see if another person has contracted the coronavirus. The only known case in Wisconsin involves a woman who tested positive after returning from China. Department of Health Service Chief Medical Officer Ryan Wessergaard says that if you've got any respiratory illness right now, do not risk it and take care of yourself. Staying at home when you are sick, having people who are close to you wash hands, clean surfaces, and all of those are really standard. Staff says that one of the best things you can do for yourself right now is getting your flu shot to help prevent the spread of the flu, which is still very active at this time. A stretch of the main street in Fond du Lac is known as the Miracle Mile. Stores along that stretch have sold 50 winning lottery tickets, some worth over $100 million since gambling's official debut in Wisconsin. But the latest win has Julie Hansen wondering if luck is shifting. Her Hansen's BP on Johnson Street sold a $1 million winning ticket drawn Saturday that matched everything but the Powerball number. Hansen's now has sold five big win tickets totaling over $1.6 million. Wisconsin lottery retailers get 2% of award totals, meaning Saturday's drawing has worth $20,000 for Hansen's. Matching all five numbers plus the Powerball in tonight's drawing will be worth $70 million in annuities or over $50 million in cash. And Julie Hansen won't be surprised to see the brisk business before tonight's 9 p.m. deadline to purchase a ticket. And finally, the Osthoff Resort makes Reader's Digest list of most beautiful lakeside resorts in the world. The Elkhart Lake Resort was tooted for its location, the amenities it offers, and the entertainment options, along with its proximity to Road America. The resort is one of 12 listed in a recent travel article, lightning different vacation destinations. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review.
News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.